Hi, kindergartners. Today, we're going to be talking about feelings. And more than that, we're going to be talking about how to have empathy. Try saying that with me. Empathy. Now you do it. Empathy. Nice job. Empathy is understanding how somebody else is feeling. Look at this guy. If you saw this guy when you were playing, what would you say he feels? Happy? No. Sad? Probably not. That's right. He feels angry or mad. Both of those mean the same thing. Do you think that he likes whatever is happening? No. Being angry is not a comfortable feeling. Let's practice when we're angry. Now, do you notice his eyes are down like this? Make your eyebrows go down and your eyes get small. His mouth is tight. Make your mouth tight. Sometimes our nostrils get go out a little bit. Now, we can't see the rest of his body, but if we could, tighten your fists like this. Doesn't this even make you feel mad when you tighten your fists? Bring them close to your body. That's a way to feel mad. Sometimes even my shoulders get tight when I'm mad. So feeling mad is not comfortable. Understanding how you feel when helps you to understand how somebody else might be feeling. So we know that this boy, his name happens to be Noah. We know Noah is feeling angry. So if you saw somebody when you were playing who's angry, what might you do? Would you keep doing the same thing? Maybe not. I think if I saw somebody who was this angry when I was playing, I might stop and say, oh, are you okay? Maybe ask, what happened? If you didn't know, sometimes people get angry and you don't know why. So ask, what happened? You look angry. Why are you angry? And then they can tell you. Maybe it's something that you did. But you didn't know. Maybe they didn't like how you played. Maybe they didn't like what you said. And you can try to fix the problem. Or maybe they're angry about something else. And being a good friend is trying to figure out how you can help them. Sometimes people feel angry and they need space. Space means that they need to move away somewhere else where they can get caught. And we're going to talk about how to get calm in another video. But sometimes when you're playing, and if you feel like this, you might need to get calm. Or this boy, Noah, needs to get calm before he can solve his problem. Often, when somebody looks this angry, you'll need to talk to an adult to try to help you solve the problem because we do not want anybody to get hurt. And sometimes when we feel angry, we feel like hurting someone or something. And it's okay to feel like that, but it's not okay for you to actually hurt somebody. Adults are always looking for faces, and so we will try to help you solve your problem. Thank you, friends, for helping me learn about empathy. Happy learning.